This is some international standard. His name is Gemini. Gemini, why are you living in Ghana? If I were you, I'll go and live in the state somewhere like that. Maybe some New York or some California or something. <laughs> I mean, I guess because I'm born here and um, um, yes, you are born here, but some things are not forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, man, I mean, it's all timing and uh, destiny is bound to you know, uh, fulfill itself once you pursue greatness. So, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so you, you've given yourself some time? Oh yeah, enough time. But you have still been around already. That's true. <laughs> so what, what exactly are you waiting for? Because I mean, Bawa, Bawa couldn't even wait. He had to come and see <laughs> who was that guy rocking right. like that. I mean, at the end of the day, you know you have to have uh, the right connects. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you have to have some crazy kind of money. And even not that, it, it takes more than money mm -hmm. and more than talent. It takes a lot of networking. And, and so, notwithstanding that, I mean, I am working on that. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I have a song with E40 mm -hmm. and FMZ. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's how much I'm connecting to the States. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a producer there called uh, Nabian. Mm -hmm. And he works directly with Reason, who happens to be Kendrick's new artist. So. Mm -hmm. Um, gradually, it's just a step at a time, you know. But then, yeah, they're they're doing the necessary things for me mm -hmm. to get uh, some of those kind of uh, mm -hmm. impactful collaborations. I, I see. Now, I, I know some people would surely be following some of these things you do here in Ghana. Yeah. But then, if I am looking at the numbers, then I ask myself. Never been mainstream. So, so not, not now that you know it is not going to be a mainstream thing, and you are also in Ghana looking for the mainstream thing to survive. How are you going to work around it to survive? I mean, I found a balance, <laughs> and that was way back 2012. I'll do boom boom. I did find a balance. It's just that it's embedded in me. I, I like the real rap thing, mm -hmm. and so as much as I pursue what I do, um, I, like I said, I found the balance. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to solidify uh, my statement as being the dopest rapper, mm -hmm. and I think I've done that over the years. So now. Mm -hmm this comes in where mm -hmm. I have to commercialize the rap and that's why I have songs like Fiona mm -hmm. coming out next and then uh, Tempted with Jay Derby and then Communicate mm -hmm. because now everybody knows Gemini is the dopest rapper okay. it's sealed okay. so uh, what's next mm -hmm. you know they want to see how versatile I am can mm -hmm. I do what these guys are doing which I can mm -hmm. so yeah he can sing he can rap so okay do it let's see commercialize your flow and I'm mm -hmm. doing it so yeah now, the dopest rapper, as we are listening at the background, is this a confirmation that rap, rappers are braggadocious. They are always bragging because I heard some one or two vibes in there like that, where Gemini was telling us he's the this, he's the that, he's the that. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's rap. Rap has always been a competitive sport. Mm -hmm. There's always who can prove to be the best. Mm -hmm. So you brag about it, but then you you have to live up to the expectation. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to walk the talk. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just about saying it, it's about saying and doing. Mm -hmm. But then, yes, I mean, bragging has always been a part of that. And mm -hmm. I don't see it going anytime soon. I see. So those who have been criticizing Sakwadi that he's always uh, bragging in songs, the, yeah. what, what message do you have for such people? I mean, definitely, you know, they're not core rap fans. You know, they, they got to know Sakwadi from a commercial point uh, st standpoint. Mm -hmm. And he, has been a rap fan before he commercialized so mm -hmm. it's still in him mm -hmm. so he'll still brag mm -hmm. and, but they, they have to take it that way that's mm -hmm. that's rap it's mm -hmm. a culture i see I, i'll be doing my own rating of um top rappers in ghana okay. um no two ways about what you do as a rapper you are one of the fine rappers we have in ghana i'm the dopest rapper to correct you. good you are the dopest rapper in ghana now they the the oh yeah in the world. Sammy Flex, correct yourself. <laughs> Gemini is the dopest rapper in the world. Yeah. Now, in the Ghanaian rating, uh, especially when it comes to the uh, awards and all that, right. how often uh, does the name Gemini come in? Uh, never, because like I, I'll go back to my previous statement, rap, rap is commercialized here. So if it's not on an Azoto beat or a dance or beat or uh, anything very danceable, and if it's not sarcastic, then they don't, like, they don't want to be educated to, through rap. They won't listen to rap, basically, they want to dance. So what's rap? You know, that's that's the kind of audience we have here. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, you don't get, I mean, you, we will send nominations and we don't get nominated. Mm -hmm. And that's to tell you, they don't understand rap. Mm -hmm. Straight mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So has it been uh, discouraging you? No, 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 not at all. I mean, my <laughs> my pinnacle is not Ghana Music I was. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when you pursue greatness, some of those things are inevitable, mm -hmm. but there's a bigger picture, so mm -hmm. I mean that shit, nah, it doesn't, it doesn't affect me anyway. 
you know, the uh, lyrical altercation mm -hmm. that uh, the brothers in question had. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it was, a, it was a topic of discussion at that time. Mm -hmm. So I remember I was in the studio and I had boys, you know, calling me about it. So I just decided to write and record and mm -hmm. address it. Actually, I got a call from, uh, oh man, uh, big up my homeboy, uh, showboy, you got locked up. Mm -hmm. um, he called me and he's like, yo, Charlie, these guys, they be blah, blah, blah. And, you know, because he was aware, I think he was, we, were, we were doing a project, so he was like, you need to send Manifest something, you need to send uh, somebody or something. I told him, I did send them, they, they, mm -hmm. they're not done with their verses, mm -hmm. but they've never sent it back. And so he called me and said, yo, they're beefing, what are they going, blah, blah, blah. And, yo, you need to address it, man, mm -hmm. before, because they didn't make noise, and do prophets like you, they before, before talk something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, nah, bro, let it, you know. But when I went to the studio, people were calling me. I'm like, let me just, so I leave this. And that was it. It wasn't to say nothing. It was just to say, hey, you guys, shut up, do my uh, features, or keep quiet. You know? <laughs> you're, all, you're all good at rap. You're mm -hmm. dope. You guys, mm -hmm. both of you are dope. Nobody's better. Mm -hmm. Just do your thing and stop the noise. I see. Now, wh when you are addressing serious issues and you still go the usual tank twisting and the fast uh, pace kind of rap, do people get to understand the message and the lyrics in there? Um, basically, I get the feedback like, oh boss, you need to slow down. <laughs> Even though we didn't hear everything, but we for play them over and over again, for pause, and for write down, boss, you know, if for talk, I make we just hear and prick, we for not listen to them two, three times. Mm -hmm. But uh, man, that makes me different. That makes me unique. That makes me the dopest rapper mm -hmm. because I can spit flat, uh, fast and I can slow it down. Mm -hmm. So for me, it, it's not a drawback. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I do get that feedback. Like, mm -hmm. don't boss, slow it down. But mm -hmm. funny enough, everybody thinks I'm audible enough to be heard. So. Yeah, yeah, audible you are. But then, like you said, <laughs> you, you need to take your time, <laughs> pay attention to the details before you can understand. Right. Uh, so, do, do you see yourself slowing it down for real? Oh, I mean. That's the thing, you see, when people, I go on interviews lately because I'm pushing a new one, which is very slowed down, mm -hmm. and then people are like, now you slowed it down. I'm like, what were you when I was dropping the push -up? Like, all these, I have songs on the album that are slow, mm -hmm. but because Ghanaians don't have the culture of listening to albums, they mm -hmm. listen to hit songs. Mm -hmm. So they don't know that we slowed it down. Mm -hmm. I've been slow, I, the thing is, I've been versatile way back. Mm -hmm. I'm not now trying to slow it down. Mm -hmm. I can rap slow, mm -hmm. and I can rap fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. I can say, tell me who the rapper that can spit it faster and then probably kick it after 382 bars. Mm -hmm. And I can say, I pride in myself, I got two reasons why I don't fail, why I'm so ill. I pop up pill right after Mills wrote a letter, I dress it and write to myself and say, chill, you know. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you get people rapping along some of your songs mm -hmm. because the, the, of the kind of speed you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have some court fans who really try, like Charles Young Jimmy. Uh -huh. uh, he even changed his name to Young Jimmy. That's how cool he is. Mm. He he would rap. He would like he he would send me a video of him rapping, mm -hmm. like you know, a rap along to my song. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm like, wow, how, how are you able to learn it? <laughs> so you admit it is going to be difficult for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, mm. I'm not doing it for you to be able to rap it. I'm doing it for you to enjoy it. You know, when, when, when Cristiano Ronaldo plays, it's not for you to think you can play. It's mm -hmm. for you to enjoy mm -hmm. the skill. Mm -hmm. Same as Mercy, so don't. I see. Gemini, a student, and I'm sure Gemini will say no to this. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's usually the students that, you know, uh, embrace rap more because they, they really understand. And your kind. Your kind yeah, of rap. Exactly. My kind. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. But then, because I started quite a long time ago, most of my uh, student fans have graduated into workers. <laughs> and so I still have a working base fan. Uh, uh, or fan base. And it's, it's, yeah, it's collectively, <laughs> or both. both mm -hmm. the, the, the verse you did on this uh, song, the one we just played, I want you to do it. I want to watch your tongue and yeah. your lips. <laughs> this, what year was it? This is like 2011. So you forgot it. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, Gemini keep winning as the way that I be living Even though I be missing and I'm forgiving Cause everything, cause everything was good and missing from the beginning When I get up on the rhythm I'm just killing My intention is to give him something different to listen That's the reason I'm so good and I'm interested by this That I'm leaving with the pressure with the way that I be twisting My suggestion is you pay attention Rapping for the last two Sorry, excuse him while I boozy Gemini caught the flu and I bet you two will do real soon to besiege you Watch me murder the music. I know you heard how I do it. My influence abuse it, but I determine who loses. Jeb gotta go get that and I feel so better than whoever wanna come compete. G H West Africa. Without me the show's incomplete. Cause I better not happen when they follow my path, just wanna rap go. Something, something like that. 
but uh, let me let me do this one. Okay. Men like Guama, Victor, Fiaka, or boy Gemini. When I speak to the rhythm of Uganda, there was a pay attention to the lyrics of the way that we deliver. Hand is going to be stressed. Forget it. Don't be serious. I check my missions on Twitter. The boys they dig me. I pick my label. Me not capable. I be the dopest. Period. I'm killing them with the way that I be bringing the flow. Feeling the slow, but I'm gonna spit it fast. I'm seeing the lyrics. Men like Guama. I am thinking that if you're a beat maker, you will struggle to play a beat for this man. No, usually you don't, you don't have to follow his rap in playing the beat. You know, just have to play a relaxed beat. You know, a south side beat, let, let him just come and sit on it. So it's not usually following what he's doing. Because what he's doing, I'm asking myself, oh, better than what he's doing. When he's rapping, when he studies the beat, he, he comes in from different angles. He, he casts through them. You know, so it's, it's, it's a style. It's a style, and he's mastered it. You know, perfect. Just like the Twitter dance and Costa Random, he does. So once you get a relaxed beat, he will, he will fit perfectly. Over. I see. And I also have that fear that you are likely to forget more of your lyrics because of the way they are written. They are so close. The lyrics are so close. He's not got it. I mean, the lyrics are so close. The tendency to forget is because of the work rate. Like, there are so many songs. Every day there's new songs. I'm learning and listening to it. Rapid. So, I tend to forget the older, even slow ones. You can mm -hmm. play slow and I've forgotten the lyrics. Mm -hmm. This one, I kind of remember because he just played it. Mm -hmm. But it's, and when I say I don't remember, it's not like I, like I just did it. But mm -hmm. the way I would have done it if I rehearsed it, it would be doper, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's, it, there's a tendency to forget, but not because of the speed. It's because mm -hmm. I have so many songs I'm trying to learn. Have you timed yourself to know how many words maybe per minute you do? No, I'm, it's not about, I mean, it's not about the speed for me. Mm. It's just about style and being dope. Mm -hmm. So, as far as I can rap to mm -hmm. a reggae beat, mm -hmm. uh, calypso, mm -hmm. highlight, hip life, mm -hmm. dance hall, mm -hmm. I'm good. It it's not about the speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I see. Because they put on, I'm like, this is the one I want there to be on. Mm -hmm. So, I called there to be, came to the studio, and we laced it. And mm -hmm. Tempted is basically a, a song about, um, you know, an everyday life of men that, an aspect of life of men that we, we probably don't share to the public, but mm -hmm. we talk as boys, boys. Where mm -hmm. you meet a girl mm -hmm. and you don't care whether she's dating mm -hmm. when you still want to go after her so you're mm -hmm. tempted mm -hmm. so basically that's the idea the uh, video was shot by kp Sell mm -hmm. uh, um on location pediasa lodge somewhere in Ibri, mm -hmm. and then we came down to east lake on mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, so this one is very slow. This one is yeah. very calm and uh, cool for men like Chief Charles to be able to <laughs> sing along and rap along. Chief Charles, is that how you want it, or you wanted the? <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want it? Oh, I, 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 I like. I, I like. This. I like the tongue twist. The initial one. Yeah, because when we were much younger, uh -huh. we used to do stuff like that. <laughs> you used to. Yes. Uh, Look, Sammy, so I mean, in 1992, I was Ghana's best student. I beg, don't go. Not a long time. Don't go there when nice in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> when, when Sammy K comes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. Yeah. Then um, my whole dear son. That's right. Have to go there. Yeah, I don't know. So, but uh -huh. I think he's a brilliant rapper. Quite mm. honestly, mm. you know, I've been seeing snippets of, mm. you know, of his, you know, the what interviews mm. works. But you know, being up close mm -hmm. and personal, mm -hmm. I just know that the guy is an embodiment of mm -hmm. the rap, rap and talk, mm -hmm. tongue twist. My only issue is that you rap is not in any of the local dialects. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. him, you know, most of his raps mm -hmm. are in English, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, you know, with that, it may be a bit difficult to compete on the international scene, mm -hmm. as well as do favorably well on the local terrain mm -hmm. because of the <coughs> Franca you're using. Mm -hmm. So maybe you may want to do a lot more of uh, pigeon, mm -hmm. if you like. You know, uh, but Charlie, it doesn't take anything away from 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 him. Mm -hmm. He's an amazingly brilliant, you know, rapper. Mm -hmm. In fact, he has mesmerized me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Menisu, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, let, let's go for the second one before uh, I will go to that I have come. We're uh, promoting. Actually, when I released Tempted. We, we didn't get the chance to do any uh, publicity and then I had to travel. Mm -hmm. So when I went, I decided to shoot Communicate in Norway. Mm -hmm. And then I dropped it on my birthday, mm -hmm. May 29th. Mm -hmm. Communicate is basically, uh, basically a song about, you know, then again, a guy in love, mm -hmm. he meets a girl in a uh, subway mm -hmm. and actually mm -hmm. a tramp. Mm -hmm. And he, he's trying to communicate with her, but mm -hmm. it's body language, mm -hmm. you know. 
and then but then he goes ahead to let her know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now I, I had some communication. I saw some communication. Is everything okay? Did he communicate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I want to know which year you see Ghana's rap music from dying. No, I mean, um, legends have been doing it from way back. Opera for Tiny, uh, Hook Back. Um, man, that was all rap. They were rapping on the beats. But okay. I was hip life, high life, whatever you call it. Mm. And I wouldn't want to disrespect them and say I came and saved them. They, mm. They've been holding and they were holding the fort, and we just they passed the torch, mm. and we are just continuing where they started, mm. and we're just being more dynamic. Mm. So, do you think that statement is a disrespectful statement? No, I think it's an opinion. It's mm. not a fact. Oh, okay. It's an opinion. Yeah. And a fact. Yeah. But if I say it, mm -hmm. I'll be, I'll, I'll sound disrespectful to me. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. If you say it. It if I say, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not here to say any <laughs> rap. No, uh, I, I'm, I'm not getting some correct. If you say it, right. you think it will sound disrespectful, but then someone says that you think it is not disrespectful, but it's an opinion. No, what I'm saying is, uh -huh. if I said I am the dopest rapper, uh -huh. but there's no need to say I'm the dopest rapper. Uh -huh. That's my point. So, if, if I work if my way there, uh -huh. I work my way towards it. Uh -huh. But if, if I come and say I saved, uh, Ghana rap in, in, in what in what sense? What what am I saying? Why would I say that? Mm -hmm. You know that's disrespectful because Obrafo and Co were doing it before I came. And I'm, in fact, I learned through them. Mm -hmm. So then, for me, I feel like I'm disrespecting them. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. And then if someone says it, I feel like he's disrespected them. But that's his opinion. Mm -hmm. But to me, I would if I said that like a slack, I'll come back and apologize because to me it's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. But if he chooses not to. Apologize it's because it's his opinion, and you can't hold him against it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> well said. Now, go. <laughs> Communicate. True words. Tempted. Know, when, when you have this course with intellectual people, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of mm -hmm. like I should have said opinion. Mm -hmm. you know, because you can't just disrespect something that you've learned mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this guy is, is dope. Mm -hmm. You know, I know Gemini from Sakuma like way back. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy mm -hmm. is dope. This guy is, is actually could be even on the level of the Twisters. You know, Twister used to be the, the, the fastest rapper in the world. Like, he still is, I believe. Mm -hmm. And if you measure the, the per bits and the words, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the way that, like, bits and bits, how the words. That, that is what it's called, eh? Per yeah, bits. No, like, I'm just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> coin your own. Yeah, language, you, know, right? you know, when, when Bossaran came to Ghana mm -hmm. in 2009, I think. Mm -hmm. That was when Sark and yeah. um, D-Crime uh, they were on the same day clock. Exactly. Mm. I believe somebody must have told them that, you know, Busta is you know very fast when it comes, so you guys need to do something. Mm. I think Gemini might need something like that. Mm. You will have to solidify his grounds mm. with this. Mm -hmm. Because everybody knows, or people hear, mm -hmm. that, oh, there's some guy called Gemini, <laughs> he will be back fast, but, no. mm. but I think it has to now come to the fore. It has to come to the mainstream. For everybody to know that okay, this is the guy, and this is what he does. Mm -hmm. But I remember when Sack was pulling up all this fastest rapper thing. I was one time with Abid. He said, "Charlie, this is some Tema boy. He did rap fast, but he for linked me to him because he wanted to put him on Rana's song. Mm -hmm. You know, so I gave him a link, and then I think they connected something like that. So mm -hmm. I feel Gemini needs something like that, you know, mm -hmm. to solidify the ground. I'm not saying he, like he's not there yet. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that, but I'm saying that platforms like that would make now. Everybody, the entire nation, come to a you know a, a whole consensus that okay, this is the guy, and I feel that he needs it. This guy is dope. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it is not easy. You see the way you are hustling to even listen to it. <laughs> it. It is not easy to go this way. Not at all. It is not easy uh, because, because even the listening itself is a problem. It's, it's a problem. <laughs> you, you could be straining your ears. You know, I, I, I wanted okay, to ask you whether he's been to me time before. <laughs> right. So you know what? This one, when you are listening to him, <laughs> you have to keep rewinding. Keep rewinding. <laughs> yeah. If you want to write to get a word, yeah, you, you have to get. And one thing is, he hey, sounds. Is that not too much job for us? No, you see, it's, 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 an, it's an act. Everybody needs to needs to find a path. Mm. You know, this is, this is his chosen path. And I think he's doing great. There's one thing also. You know, he sounds very audible. Mm -hmm. Like when he raps, you, you could hear the words. Mm -hmm. And just say, come on, no boss, you can You could really hear the things he's saying. He's, he's actually mastered it. And Charlie, thumbs up to you. You are great. Mm -hmm. I feel, Charlie, you're one of the best rappers to ever. You know, grace this nation. Mm -hmm. Big up for the songs that he did. 
Mm-hmm. You, were, you were saying that oh, ten, ten and then. Yeah, you said this one, it, it, it does not go there. There's a code in rap mm-hmm. where you're doing a love song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you need to make it lovely. Oh, so. You understand? Ah, even you, you need to sound romantic. Very lovely. Even some people change their. You see, when 50 Cent recorded uh, Asia Birthday, mm-hmm. he, he, he toned down. Mm-hmm. Because when you listen to some songs like If I Can Do It, It Can Be Done in the Heat, and mm-hmm. all them big songs, he mm-hmm. coming real hard. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to a love song, you calm down mm-hmm. because it's for them ladies. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So let the ladies <laughs> enjoy. <Yeah. laughs> yeah, let the ladies enjoy. So Gemini Charlie, big up, man. Big up. Alright, thank you so much that I have called for that one. I, mean, I believe you know that I have called back <laughs> and I said rapper. So when he says it then really he means it.